Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome, hello to my channel. As you can see, I just got out of the shower because my hair is completely wet and I, what I'm going to do today for this video is um, I'm going to promote my new song. I'm gonna promote my new song talk to you a little bit about my new song because I feel like I haven't done a good job at promoting it um, It definitely hasn't been as huge of a promotion as it was with the Lonely Boys Club um, for obvious reasons, which I will um, Talk about in this video, but I'm gonna do my hair and get ready I have to go out and pre-order the Thanksgiving turkey and um, talk to you about my new song So if you want to know the tea the secrets everything about my new song hate me all you want Which is out now link in the description Keep on watching. So I'm gonna start by doing my hair. I'm using the Bumble and Bumble Sumo Gel. And let's begin. This is, this is my idea of a mukbang. Just so you all know, that's a lot. Ooh, girl, that's a lot. Okay, so that's this is my idea of a mukbang. Is instead of eating, because I don't like to eat, um, I just um, do my hair and do my makeup and do my skincare. Do all that jazz. So, um, my new song came out on Friday. It's called Hate Me All You Want. And it's definitely, I will be honest, I'm, I was a lot more excited to release this song than I was Lonely Boy for the reason that I, ah, ugh, my hair. So, uh, I relate to this song a lot more than I do to Lonely Boy for a lot of reasons. One of them being is that uh, I think out of the new album, this is what, this definitely one of the first songs that derives from my own personal life. I will be honest, uh, this song comes out of my own personal life, out of my own personal experiences, and out of what I've gone through in life. I'm um, not, 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 my whole life hasn't been a, 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 a full, what's the, what's the phrase? My life hasn't been just a series of sufferings. There's definitely been a lot of good stuff. However, Sometimes the negativity outweighs the positivity. That's just how life is sometimes and I clearly don't know how to brush my hair um, But it's it's definitely something a lot more personal to me and it talks about a lot of other things that are not necessarily in my life but in someone else's life which that I'm not going to talk about right now because I want to wait till the album comes out for me to really tell you guys my full honest no filter story i think it's a little too early for that and if i'm honest i'm not doing as much of promotion with this song now because i'm not supposed to be doing as much promotion with this song now the promotion should start like literally the first week of next year um but i didn't want to keep you guys waiting too long for a new song so that's why i decided to release it in november instead of january because the objective was to release it in january december was not going to be a good time because i've got a couple christmas things up my sleeve so um it would not have been a good time to have the christmas stuff go out and at the same time put out a new single you know what i mean it would not it just was not going to be something okay i just i, I didn't think it would be ethical for me to do so i decided you know what let's put it out in november uh the music video won't be coming out till the music video won't be coming out till early next year. I'm gonna be honest with that. Music video won't be coming out until early next year in January. So we'll keep you guys waiting for too long, uh, but I don't think you guys will mind because like I said, I've got Christmas tricks up my sleeve, which is very exciting. The sound of this song is definitely a lot more different to Lonely Boy in the sense that it's a little more upbeat, it's a little more fast paced and it's um, a little more country-ish. <laughs> and definitely, I definitely channeled my inner Faith Hill in this song. And I definitely wrote this in the style that a country song would be written, which country music is a lot more autobiographical than pop music. I think pop music is more about being cryptic and of having people wanting to decrypt and decipher what you're trying to say and you know you, you do a little more digging for a pop song than you do for a country song for a country song they lay it all down on the table and i think i did a pretty good job of laying everything all down on the table and this song i talk about my personal experiences when it comes to meeting people because i've had horrible I've had, I, I literally have 12 story times lined up if you guys want them for this song. Um, you know, I haven't had the best luck interacting and meeting new people online. Um, it hasn't been easy and it hasn't been great. Um, but I decided, you know what, let's make money off of that pain. <laughs> let's make money off of that pain. Let's make money off of my suffering and my pain because 
nobody is worth crying for. So that's what this song is about. And also, it's also about me not caring what people think anymore. Like, I really don't care what people think about me. I don't care what people say about me anymore. At this point, you can tell me the ugliest things in my face. I've heard it all. I don't really care. And it probably won't affect me as much as it did before. And also, I think within the whole spectrum of the entire album, this song is the closest to what the theme of the whole album is. Lonely Boy was not really there. I think this song definitely gives you guys a much more deeper meaning and understanding as to how this album is going to progress and as to how this album is going to sound no not sound like as to how this album what this album is going to be talking about what i will be discussing in this album and what will be the general topic of the whole album and also i should mention that the album is completely done i'm done writing i'm done recording now it's all about editing and mixing and then turning it in so i can announce as of november 17 2018 which is today i'm completely done with the album i'm done it's finished it's done all i have to do is mix it and edit it and record the last finishing ad libs and touches that i need to record and turn it in and it goes to you and uh the questions about the album the album is coming out early next year it's actually i think it's coming out a lot more earlier than expected it was i was expected to release this summer of 2019 but i'm moving it up to spring because i finished a lot more quicker than i thought i would so it's gonna come out really really soon which i am so excited about um this is definitely a lot more scarier for me to release than ever Ever was definitely one of those albums where I did it so quickly I didn't even think about what I was doing. I've said this before but Ever took about six months to make entirely like writing, recording, editing, mixing, producing, releasing, promoting, everything. Everything took six months to do which looking back at it now was my idea, my, my version of Tanacom because you can't execute a full album great within six months unless you have a really good team behind you which I don't. I'm a one-man band. I do everything on my own. So all by myself, I really can't do this. So this time I took my sweet little time and I took two and a half years to make this album and it's finally coming out and I'm excited and I'm a lot more scared. I'm scared to release this because I've never done anything like this before and I've never written music in this way before. I've never really touched on things about my personal life that I've never even talked about on YouTube or to even anyone online or in real life. This album talks about a lot of dark things but it also talks about a lot of positive things and it also talks about a lot of fanciful things and fantasy is definitely, I guess, that's the one hint for this album, fantasy. The word fantasy is the one hint I will give you for this album because that's definitely a recurring idea within this whole album and i'm excited and hate me all you want is out there and i'm so nervous that it's out there and i'm so scared that it's out there and also i'm so happy that all of you guys are loving it um, i've been getting so many sweet and heartwarming dms on instagram of people loving it and wanting to hear more and they're excited about me and it just it, it warms my heart it definitely warms my heart and it means a lot to me and i can't wait to keep sharing with you guys more and also another fun fact this is the last song before the album comes out so what you guys will be getting next is the pre-order for the album which is so exciting uh the pre-order could be coming out january or february i'm not sure i don't know just yet um let me work on this and i will let you guys know when so i didn't do anything to my face right now and i probably won't be doing anything to my face on camera so i think that's about it i just really wanted to promote the song and talk about the song so if you guys haven't heard it my new single hate me all you want is out now on apple music itunes spotify pandora iHeartRadio. uh <laughs> i think even amazon music and i think it's also available on What's the other one? I forgot. There's so many. It's it's out everywhere. The song is out everywhere. So go check out a link in the description. Or you can press in the screen in a couple of seconds to buy it, purchase it, stream it, do whatever you gotta do. But please um, support the song because it's generally such a good song that I have so much faith in and I'm so proud to be releasing. And I can't wait for you guys to hear the whole album. So thanks for lending me a bit of your time to promote my song. Um, go out there, listen to it, subscribe to the channel because... Um, 
this is the last week I'm uploading videos before Vlogmas because Vlogmas begins next week and I want to take my time for, to prepare myself mentally and also decorate the Christmas tree. I have a theme for my Christmas tree this year which I'm so excited to share with you guys. It's sitting right in front of me. The theme is sitting right in front of me. I see it with my own eyes right now. Um, so it's going to be a fun last month of the year. I can't believe 2018 is almost over. I cannot believe it. This year has been so crazy. Anyways, um, buy the song, subscribe, comment down below your thoughts on the song once you listen to it, like this video, and I will see you tomorrow with a Pompey video. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>